rallying patriots in defense of human liberty. That's all I'm trying to do is we're all in this together. Nick in Pennsylvania, thanks for holding here on the air. Welcome. All right. God bless you, Alex. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about this Chris Kyle guy, this uh, known bearer, bearer of false witness, uh, you know, American manhunter, and the irony behind calling him American sniper, that's hilarious if you uh, live on the East Coast and remember the whole D.C. sniper thing. They use those same words to strike fear into everybody in this area. But um, anyway, this guy, he founded a company called Craft International, which is basically like a black ops front group government contractor for drills. And they were spotted all over the whole Boston Marathon bombing hoax. Well, and, people uh, wearing their uniform and hats were. I'm not saying they were involved, but, uh, yeah, no, he was – that might have been why they killed him was to cover that up. Yeah, they have – their hats have the exact skull logo. If you go to their website, it's called Craft thecraft.com no no it's it's which, a punisher with 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 blood dripping out the eye yeah and the craft or the craft is specifically the term used to describe the lower levels of freemasonry but anyway uh and and the website itself goes on to talk about how their logo is based off of the templar cross which also has a direct connection to freemasonry but yeah no i know clearly he was he was into masonry that's pretty clear yeah, they were spotted on the ground at the Boston Marathon bombing, and they've got their uh, uniforms, their skull logo on their hat. The backpack matches the backpack that they said was evidence of the bomb going off. But that whole thing was a complete Hollywood psyop, completely fake if you look into it at all. And it's look how ridiculous. it worked out for Chris Kyle. Yep. Yep, and he's dead now. So uh, anyone who wants to uh, do those kind of things to our country, you know, you ain't particularly safe afterwards. And uh, many of the people involved in Sandy Hook are having their lives exposed to the whole world for being in on that fraud. So, you know, it's not a particularly safe line of business. No, I hear you. The you most know? dangerous position to be in is working for the New World Order. I mean, it is just unbelievable. And it's a big hoax that you can't get into that and get out of it. The, most people get out of it once they get into really evil stuff. So that thing about you never get out of the CIA, you never get out of special ops, bull, bull. That's bull. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go to Steve in Florida. Steve, you're on the air. Yeah, good afternoon, Alex. Uh, real quick, I wanted to point something out, and this will help people out in dealing with what's going on with America. There's a spiritual and a natural parallel. Here's what I'm getting at. It's been said that the church is the conscience of the nation. So I'm talking about Christianity. Because there's been a corruption of the Bible and doctrine, and we've had an acceptance of deception and lies with the higher criticism and the perversion of the Word of God, the natural outcome is the rise of the dumbing down of our education system with evolution, sex ed, common core, etc. We've also had the corruption of the church's worship with their fake Pentecostalism and so-called Christian entertainment, so in the natural, we've had the rise of Hollywood, the TV and music industry, the virtual reality versus life reality. That's right. If you and take if, if you if you take God out of it, flooding in is the worst of the worst that will take the four and then force feed our children uh, demoniac garbage to enslave them. Yeah, we've also had the corruption of the church's thinking with so-called Christian psychology, which makes self God. Well, we've had the rise of Freudian and Young. Oh, I know. I cannot tell you how, what it's done with people I know with these name it and claim it brainwasher churches that, 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 that turn people into, like, psychopaths. They believe they can do anything they want because God's on their side. It is bizarre. To show how conditioned I've gotten, they're at Davos on TV talking about micro mosquitoes that will force us to take our shots and saying, get over it, you have no privacy, as they announce each year. And I'm just so conditioned. I'm like, yeah, they're announcing micro mosquitoes, robots, huh? Eh, big deal. See, first it doesn't exist, and now oh, it's just no big deal. And even I'm being conditioned. It's just amazing. Steve, um, absolutely, you know, they talk about religion being used for wars and not spirituality or not a belief in Christ. But you look at these big mega churches; they're just government intelligence agencies. And they take normal people and then get them all hyped up to be super confident and believe they can act or do whatever they want because that because you know Jesus is going to reward them because they go to that church and it creates mentally ill monsters 
Uh, it's almost like a type of narcissism they're teaching them. I noticed you mentioned that, and I have witnessed it, uh, that myself. Yeah, I, I have a couple more real quick. Uh, there's been a corruption of the church's mission, which is the Great Commission, that's been neutralized, neglected. We've replaced it with this Kingdom Now Church growth movement, focusing on our property, et cetera. Well, here in the natural, we have the rise of the laziness of the welfare EBT class, burning out our kids, our elderly, and our industry. And then the corruption of the church's perspective, where it's temporal rather than eternal. Well, we've got the rise of the me generation and instant gratification, got to have it now rather than thinking long term. The corruption of the church's stand with this pre trib rapture fantasy rather than fight on and endure to the end. And so we've got the rise of the zombie nation with the sports, the game shows, the tabloid reality. And then finally, the corruption of the church leadership with their greed, perversion, and egotism. So we have the rise of a criminal government and their God trip. Well said. I'm going to take the call you made earlier and then finishing up in this segment and put it out as a video uh, because I think what you've said is absolutely on target, and it's scary. And I'm not, again, up here saying I'm some moral perfect person. I'm fleshly. I have bad thoughts. But, I mean, part of that is you war game things in your mind. I, I, I get in the mind of the enemy. I understand how they think. And then I look at just the stupid, dumbed-down, me, me, me people that just want to believe Obama's going to give them free college or a free car or a free house and all the illegals worldwide coming here to get a free lunch uh, as if anybody's really going to get a free lunch, as if it isn't about creepy total enslavement. And even though they get lied to over and over again, they still bet again because they want to believe they're going to get something for free. They're just chumps. And then you see how soft and dumb the public's gotten, part of industrialization. It's not all the globalists doing. They're just exacerbating it. Imagine when everything falls and goes to hell in a handbasket, what it'll be like with these giant hordes of entitled, weak, pathetic people. And, and then all these fake, tough men. All these fake, tough guys strutting around thinking they're Billy Badass. I mean, what's it going to be like for them when the you know what hits the oscillating device. It's going to be crazy. Anything else? Yeah, I just want to say this in conclusion. Uh, I'm not for perpetuating this, uh, you know, self-fulfilling uh, prophecy. Well, you know, it's the last days. God said this would happen. There's nothing we can do. I'm going to stand for the truth and fight on. But I want to say this, Alex. What we see happening in America is the judgment of God, not just on the nation, but on the church because of their mockery of God before the lost. And unless the church turns and changes the direction they're going, I believe we're going to see a total uh, implosion of America, which I believe has to happen to wake people up to the reality of what's going on because they're so complacent and lukewarm and living in a fantasy world and believing we're going to get transported out of here before this all comes down. I don't see any other way because most of them have this knee-jerk deer in the headlights their reaction when I try to tell them what's going on. Well, sure, you tell the average fake Christian their daughter's on crack cocaine. They don't believe it till she dies of an overdose. I appreciate your fine points. Take the story of Pharaoh, Ramses, and Moses um, in the Bible. Whether you believe that's true or not, historically it shows it happened. I mean, at least those men existed. There was an exodus. But I went and saw the remake of it. I thought it was a pretty good film with Baal. But I like the character, the guy that played uh, Ramses. I forget his name. But it just gets worse and worse for him, and he's getting judged, and everything's... He gets beaten over and over again, but he's too prideful to stop. He's too prideful to turn back. And I've run into that with enemies who attack me and lie about me and come after me, even though bad stuff starts happening to them. And I don't want to get into mojo, mumbo, jumbo stuff here. I just know I've got providence. That's what humbles me so much that anyone that's ever persecuted me long-term, horrible things happen to them. And I've experienced providence. Uh, and, and, and things in my life that I won't even get into. But let me just say, there is a lot more in heaven and earth than is in you know, all your books. Which Shakespeare is that? Is it Othello? Just type in Shakespeare. There is more in heaven and earth than in all your books. Horatio? I forget who he's talking to. I'm going from memory here. But it, it's just, it's not just evil that has power in this world. But evil knows the promise of the devil. It knows it can be given power. 
and they crave it, and good people do not crave it. You have to start craving, though, standing up against these people and get past your initial fear. It's Hamlet. That's right, it's Hamlet. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't remember that. Where's the actual quote? There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, okay, so I was right, I just got the play wrong, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Then I guess in Master and Commander by uh, O'Brien, they change it to in all your books. Hamlet, 151678. Let's go ahead and go to Ed in New York. Ed, thanks for calling. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, sir. All right, uh, I'm calling from FEMA Region 2, the easternmost point, and uh, I want to talk about the Ronkonkoma Hub. It's the, uh, according to Chuck Schumer, the greatest development project in the nation right now. Give us your take on it. Well, this is what is happening, is I live in Ronkonkoma. Um, the town across from us called Brookhaven passed this plan. It's being backed by the Olayan, uh, uh, the Saudi Arabian uh, Olayan Group through the Tritech Corporation, and they're raising houses and businesses to expand the, uh, the, the Ronkonkoma train station. They want to make MacArthur Airport an international airport. And they've, uh, and they've been threatening to use eminent domain. We managed to stop them in January of 2014. I went knocking door to door, and so did a few other people. We got 1,200 people down there to the town hall, but... Remember what happened in New York and Connecticut when they were taking stuff for Eli Lilly's plant and they were taking, like, really nice houses and not even paying people for them? Because, see, that's the new eminent domain where they just don't pay you. Right. And, you know, to top it off, this is going through a private corporation. We have over $5 million in subsidies being announced, and now we have... Uh, Schumer is uh, now looking for the get federal help and resources as well to uh, really tear down our community and... Uh, and put up a lot of uh, uh, Section 8 uh, housing all over the place. And they're calling us a blight and a detriment to the community, but they're going to replace it with something that's, you no know, far more undesirable. Well, sure, that's like Gore Seafood 15 years ago. We had their CEO, and they've been around for like 60-something years. And down the Texas coast, the town just wanted to take their property to put a boat dock on and, you know, just said, we're not going to pay you either. I mean, that's the new thing is you take 10 cents on the dollar or we won't pay you. Remember the Connecticut cases across from New York a few years ago when they didn't even give them money for their houses? And then if you sued, they would then charge you attorney's fees? Yeah, and you, you have to also put up uh, not not a, uh, a security, but you have to put up a, a large uh, sum of money even if, if, if you do win. That's sure, like, so in uh, the old days, they had to pay you fair market value. Now they just don't give anything. We've got a ranch and we got a letter under a taxpayer bill of rights or landowner bill of rights in Texas legislature passed it, they said, yeah, if we want to put a pipeline across your property or do something, uh, you, you have to accept what we offer or you get nothing afterwards or we'll charge you. And, and that's your property bill of rights. I appreciate your call, Ed. Sorry to hear that's happening. It's all part of the corruption. Randy, last caller, only got about two minutes. Go ahead. Hey, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to talk about these, all these Bilderbergers running for president. Uh, I, I think Dr. Ben Carson... Uh, he would be, I think, a good candidate, but I don't know that much about him yet. But y'all were touching on religion earlier. I've been watching uh, Jack Van Enepe and uh, Hal Lindsey on TV. And, and Rex Sullivan MP. Yeah. And and I, I watch these people, and he's the, uh, Van Enepe, he's the only one who talks about the New World Order. And Hal Lindsey does, too. And no, I know. I, I've, I, I've had Hal Lindsey on. Let's get Hal Lindsey and Jack Van Impey on the show. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, congratulations. I see you got a billboard in Shreveport, Louisiana. Well, I want to congratulate the fact that a bunch of people started copying one fellow who did it, and so it's a chain reaction. I'm getting calls daily from the East Coast, West Coast, and across the country. I want to salute everybody out there. It's having a big effect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to say I help plant seeds in that area, but uh, I can't be for sure. Brother, but you it, did everything it, before it, God, and you did plant seeds, and that's what matters. And uh, it's right by the Independent Stadium on the interstate. And man, it's a good location for that, that billboard. 
And uh, whoever did it, you know, I've been trying to find out who did that, you know, because I like to contribute to that to keep it up there. We need to get that fellow that did it back on, and folks can, can, can uh, contribute right to him. He's doing a great job. In fact, you set up that fellow that was on the nightly news that put up like 50 of them around the country. But, I mean, it's a bunch of people doing it now. It's really exciting, the power of the people. Randy, sorry I'm out of time. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central. And don't forget, I'll be back Sunday, Lord willing. I don't count my chickens before they're hatched. Uh, 4 to 6 p.m. Central time. Great job to the crew. Love y'all. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life.